Uh, folks, what's interesting, Beano Black here, and basically I'm not sure what they're looking at, but all I know is that's current time, and then it just refreshed too. Just right now in front of your eyes, when I started recording here, just refresh that blink was refresh. Okay, because it refreshes every once in a while. So I'm not sure what they're looking at. Uh, they could have weather, but we do know that these are shadows of planets that we've seen before. So, uh, it'd be interesting. We'll see later on, because we see the time, 23rd, and you got my central time here. As you can see, four hour difference. Should be so. Yep. And that's the hour, 7, and it's 11 here. So, minute difference on the clock, or not even a few seconds, I guess, because it just refreshed. So anyway, interesting what they're looking at. And then also, then I'm going to go to a video. Uh, so uh, here's your footage from, there you go, southeast camera, webcam. And then as you watch these clouds really good, you're going to pretty much know that there's something there. So, and then uh, let me know, because basically I'm just saving time to go to it. Let me know. This guy's really well trusted. Uh, and then be careful because, like, I have emailed lots of people that send me factual footage, okay? And then, like, you've seen that, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure Dutch shouldn't have any offense of the idea that we have busted them colorizing the volcano over at uh, Japan. So, uh, this object between us and the sun, it keeps bleeding through pretty good. So let me go ahead and show you what we got for a close uh, object today on JPL. I can let this play a little bit more. Uh, I guess basically I can speed it up till we see clouds in front of it again, I guess, or whatever. Or there you see the changing of the color of it. I mean, I guess, so I'm not gonna touch nothing. Let me get back up here and Sorry about the cursor flying around. And then when I get up there, that should go away. So, so that's the sun hitting it, uh, and we get radiation, sun radiation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and then the radiation from the stars and the radii that are in Japan and the volcano over there in Japan. So I haven't even taken time. I think if you go to one of my videos, uh, the last three or so, I put the link so that you can click on that. And I think the, it'll automatically come up in your viewer. Should it come up in your either, I'm not going to advertise for anybody, you know, the major S. And then uh, whatever other viewer you've got, it should come in automatically. Or at least you got to click on it. If it goes to the YouTube site, there'll be a blue address and click on that. But I think if you click on those links that I put on that video. So as the sun keeps changing in color, but you see at the beginning, uh, at matter in fact, let me, well, let me just go, I'm going to go ahead a little bit and see what we get. So, because he's got it playing pretty slow. And it's just basically, it's there, because you're going to be able to go back. And, I mean, you get a pretty good look here, too, through the clouds and so forth. And let me go back to where it just starts getting in the clouds, so that you don't realize that we don't fake bake you. It's been seeing this thing forever, but we're getting real high clouds now over there, which is helping. Uh, somebody in Hawaii could give us f actual video photography because someone could probably go up to the 13,000 area and see what they're doing for cloud. Are they uh, starting to seed? But why would they seed and get away with it? Because you the, you think the scientists and the uh, telescope operators would complain or at least, you know, blog somewhere or let us know. So, high clouds, it's very much a possibility. There is high clouds like that. So, so once again, over there, they've got, and we're going to learn more on this. I'll even click on this and see, but I think it's basically going to get the cloud cameras, the experimental high definite camera. Yeah, it'll show you the cameras. So, and then the lasers they shoot up there to find, you know, they can find the sun, they can find any star that they've got because they got it hooked up into a laser program, and then they find their objects and stuff like that. So, right now, going back, they are fixated on those dark shadows of something between the sun. Okay, and then as you can see, something is showing up in the sky. Because this is the sky, folks. We have seen this before. Now, they could have weather on the camera. 
but I really doubt it because this really looks like the dark spots that we've been seeing before from the webcam from the telescope so I believe that this is shooting up just like the normal shot that you get for the 23 to 24 uh, and there might be weather but interesting very interesting and just to reemphasize this is cloud cam folks check it out I'll go to images and it'll show you okay so because I'm not gonna go to webcam I'm gonna go to cloud cam okay and as you see they got it in the shots there in the three shots okay so low light cloud cams okay let me go to webcams okay they got weather up there so as you can see that is shooting up to the clouds okay north northeast and see that's a different shot because we go to cloud cam and that's a different shot so that is cloud cam. That is actually up in the sky. Okay. So very interesting. In Hawaii, these are our Canadian, French, Canada, France, Hawaii telescopes. Okay. So I'm gonna go to time lapse video see if we can get that asteroid belt one. I think we can find that one. So I gotta find my camera. Just hang on. And this is north northeast sky right now too. Okay. So very interesting. Okay, eyes on the planet and uh we'll see if we can go to full screen on this and see if it'll work. I know it's working a lot better. So in Madagascar, I guess or something, there's a river that's must have a lot of flooding or something because the idea that there's a lot of sediment in the river, so I don't know. Uh, let's go to full screen and see if it'll work good. Now, uh, these are satellites that are working around Earth right now. So if I go away from this, what I'm kind of upset about now, I think I'll have my shot that I want. Okay, so those are satellites that are going around Earth right now. So, okay, there's Earth. And there's the sun in the well. And I'm starting to think that basically I got copped out of what I was wanting to show. There's the outer solar system, inner solar system. Okay, so we're going to go back in. I'm zooming in and out, whether you can tell or not that I'm doing that. And we're going to come back and we're going to see satellites. And there's a lot more than that. These are just the ones that are looking at Earth. Okay. And not just the ones. There's tons of spy satellites, okay. Okay, so these are going around Earth right now. Let me see if I can find what I want. Hang on. All right, I'm not going to go to full screen on this. I believe I can, but let me see. I think here we go to full screen. We might be all right on this. Okay, now what I finally got is this running good because basically they had a not a very good vision. Uh, so now you basically could look at this today because that's where stereo heads at. That's where sun's at, and I could rotate around. And stuff. But for the, to show you the well, people complain and say, "Well, we rotate." Yes, we rotate around the sun and we follow the sun wherever it may go. That's why the scientists always have a laser on it up there in the supergiants to keep an eye on it. And we'll go way out and we'll see where we got Pioneer, way the hell out. People don't talk about it because it's way the hell out. Okay, and then we're going to see more that we've got way the hell out there because we have Pioneer 11 that's been way the hell out there. And then we got other ones. Okay, so those are our satellites that we got out there in space, okay? Now, we are going to zoom in. We're coming back in from deep out in space, okay? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got Jupiter. Now, remember, we just recently they showed Uranus to us, okay? New Horizons is a satellite, folks. And as you can see, it can haul ass, 
okay? Because I believe it's way past New Horizons, it's way after Pioneer and so forth and so such. The other one's technology advances, okay? So there's Uranus in its orbit, okay? Way the hell out, and there's Neptune also, okay? Now, we're going to keep going in to the well, and Vesta, that's four Vesta, and Dawn is a satellite that's out there, okay? Dawn, I think it's Dawn Messenger, so, or Dawn. So basically, it's out there at Vesta, four Vesta, okay? So when you see that there, that's four Vesta. Now I got it kind of screwed up, but we should be able to get back in here to the well. I got stereo ahead and behind today where they're positioned at, okay? I'm not even looking at Earth, but Earth's there. Earth's up there on the right, okay? So I'll go back over to here, go back out there, and there we go. So in the well, and then I'll show you that there are somewhat denotations of, and you got the Mars Science Laboratory because it's on the way to Mars, okay? But they have to take a route to get there, folks, okay? So see, as I go into the sun well, we go into the sun, and I can keep on focusing in on the sun, you'll get its coronals. You see its coronals that they show? And that's what they've been studying for years, and it keeps changing all the time, and that's why they study the sun grazers and so forth and so on. And we know the supergiants all exist, and that's down in the well. Okay? As you can see, it's in the well, and then I can take and rotate around, and you'll get all the tracks of everything that's out there. And there you go. As you see, Earth, but see, Mars has that Mars Science Laboratory has to take a certain route to be up there. Now, if it's going to stay up there and study in uh, Mars, who knows? But it's got to take a specific route, okay, to get by what's material and also orbital magneticism, okay? As you see, these are all the highways for orbits of all these planets, okay? And there's the sun in the well. Now, I can go back out, and we'll get an idea, because you'll see or Uranus's orbit there, Juno, and there's a good shot of what's orbits out there, okay? Earth, Mars, Sci Mars Science Laboratory, and Mars, Uranus, and I've already showed you out with, and there we got Rosetta is a another satellite that's way the hell out. And you got Saturn's orbit way the hell out. And then, so what's interesting is any objects that would be end up hitting Mars is what's uh, basically contemplation between here and 2076, I think. Something like that. So there you get a good idea of what, how stuff sits out there. Now, more than likely, I should be able to since this is working pretty good now. Way better than it's been working in the past, the new upload. So I should be able to give you guys real good references by looking at seeing exactly where stereo ahead and behind are sitting in relevance to looking at the sun and so forth and so on. Okay, and then be able to go to Earth and see shots. I haven't even taken a look to see what's going on up there because it's way miles out and stuff happens and it takes about three minutes or something for the sun to get here. So, I mean, you know, the rays from the sun, the radiation. So, I don't even see Earth right now. I'm just basically panning around and zooming back in and back out. It's nice to have a wheel mouse when you use these programs. If you have a Microsoft, which is nice to use for doing bookwork and everything like that, cut and paste, and even basically working with uh, ECAD, uh, basically a wheel, an old wheel mouse is a nice one to work with this program. Okay, it's eyes of the solar system. Your taxpayers' dollars pay for this, folks. It's free. It has to be. We paid for it. Okay, and imagine what JPL gets to look at. All right. Now the orbit diagram should load, and basically that's where it sits at today, 211 CP4, that's where it sits. Now basically this was working before, so there we go. Okay, so there was your object, I ain't got time to replay with that. And, yep, there's Earth below it there, and I don't know if I can get Earth to pop up, but Earth is right behind the 2011 CPR4. I think if I play it with it that way, maybe you can see Earth marking. Because Earth's marking is there if you play around with this. Well, anyway, believe me, Earth is right underneath that 2011 CP4. So it's two. Let me get the data on that. And yeah, folks, it's this close, okay? Forget this here, because I went to the Ephedrus, okay? It's this it's this close, okay? But it's still a hell of a long ways out, okay? So I don't know if that's it in front of the sun or not.
And no, it's not wild because wild's out of.